Hi developers, welcome to another exciting tutorial where we bring life to your websites using cool animations. Today, we're going to create an amazing zoom effect synced with scroll animations. Picture this as you scroll, the foreground image zooms in, the background gets darker, and the entire section smoothly shrinks in height, delivering an elegant scroll triggered animation. This effect is not just visually appealing, but also adds an interactive element that keeps your users engaged. This kind of animation is perfect for portfolio websites, landing pages, or anywhere you want to impress your audience. And guess what? We're going to build it from scratch using GSAP Scroll Trigger. It's simple, fun, and beginner friendly, so stay with me till the end to master it. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get started. Let's start with the structure of our web page. In the head section, we have the meta tag for character encoding and another for setting the viewport properties. These ensure that the web page is responsive and looks good on all devices. Next, we have the title tag, which sets the title of the page as G Sap Scroll Zoom. Following this, we link an external style sheet using the link tag, which connects our CSS file to style the web page. In the body, everything is wrapped inside a div tag with the class wrapper. This acts as the main container for all our content. Inside this, we have three primary sections. Intro section. A div tag with the class intro contains an H1 tag for the heading and a paragraph tag for the subtitle. These elements will serve as the introduction to our page. Content section. This includes a section tag with the class hero section, which will showcase our large background image, and another section tag with the class about section. Inside the about section, there's a paragraph tag that gives a descriptive narrative about mountains. Image container. A div tag with the class image container contains an image tag. This image acts as a foreground layer for our zoom effect. At the bottom, we load two external JavaScript files for GSAP and scroll trigger using the script tag. These libraries handle all the animations on the page. Finally, we link an external JavaScript file named main.js, where we define our animation logic. Now let's talk about CSS. This is where we define the appearance of the sections and prepare them for animation. Think of CSS as the designer. It gives color, shape, and style to the structure created by HTML. The wrapper class ensures that all the content is aligned properly and fits neatly on the screen. It sets the stage for the animations to work seamlessly. The intro section is styled to look visually appealing. The heading is bold and prominent, while the paragraph has a softer look to complement the heading. This ensures the text grabs the user's attention as soon as the page loads. The hero section is designed to create space for the scroll animation. Its height and background make it a perfect canvas for the shrinking effect we'll add later. The about section holds the descriptive text. The text here is styled to be easy to read and visually balanced, ensuring it blends well with the overall design. Finally, the image container is styled to position the foreground image correctly. The image is set up to be responsive and ready for animation. Its placement and size are key to making the zoom effect look smooth and natural. The CSS here serves two main purposes. First, it makes the page visually appealing. Second, it sets up everything for the animations we'll create using GSAP. If you're enjoying this tutorial so far, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot and helps me create more such amazing content for you. Now comes the exciting part where we bring our scroll animation to life using JavaScript. This is where all the magic happens. So I'll explain everything in a way that even if you're a beginner or completely new to development, you'll understand it step by step. All right, let's get started. First, we need to bring in the tools that make this animation possible. It's one of the most powerful tools for animations, and it simplifies complex animations that would otherwise take a lot of time to code manually. Along with GSAP, we're using a feature of it called Scroll Trigger, which lets us link animations to the scroll behavior of a web page. The first thing we do in our JavaScript file is register Scroll Trigger with GSAP. This is like turning on a feature in GSAP so it can work with scroll events. Without this step, Scroll Trigger wouldn't function, so it's essential. Next, we select the element we want to animate. In our case, this is the image container. Using JavaScript, we can target this container by its class name or tag name and store it in a variable. Think of this like pointing to a specific part of your page and saying, this is what I want to animate. Now, we create the actual animation. This is where GSAP comes into action. We use a method called to, which tells GSAP what changes we want to make to the selected element. For the image container, we first define a property called scale. 
This controls the size of the image. By increasing the scale value, we make the image zoom in, creating that smooth zoom effect as the user scrolls. Next, we adjust the opacity. Opacity controls how transparent or solid an element looks. Here, we slightly lower the opacity to give the illusion that the background is getting darker. This creates depth and makes the animation look more professional and visually appealing. But this animation isn't just about changing size or opacity. We want it to respond to the user's scroll. For that, we add scroll trigger options. The first option is called trigger. This tells scroll trigger which part of the page should start the animation. In our case, we want the animation to begin when the user scrolls to the hero section. Then, we define start and end points for the animation. Start tells scroll trigger where the animation should begin on the page, and end tells it where it should stop. These values are usually tied to the user's scroll position, making the animation feel connected to their actions. Next, we add an option called Scrub. Scrub is like a magic feature that ties the animation's progress directly to the scroll movement. Without Scrub, the animation would play automatically, but with it, the animation smoothly follows the user's scroll, creating a very interactive and engaging effect. Finally, we animate the hero section's height. This is what creates the shrinking effect as the user scrolls down the page. By reducing the height gradually, we make it look like the content is smoothly collapsing, adding another layer of interaction to our animation. And that's it for the JavaScript. Each line of this code works together to create a seamless and professional scroll animation that enhances the user experience. With GSAP and Scroll Trigger, we've turned a simple web page into something dynamic, interactive, and visually stunning. And that's it, developers. You've just learned how to create a beautiful scroll triggered zoom effect using GSAP. This effect not only looks great, but also adds an interactive element to your website, making it more engaging for users. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future tutorials. Let me know in the comments what animations you'd like to see next, or if you have any questions about GSAP. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding and stay creative.